Greetings, Marsh here. Welcome to episode two of my modded Factorio playthrough. Enjoy. All right, we got it. All right, what do we get? Assembler and inserter. Inserters will be a lot more useful. The so first thing we can do is at least stop all the picking up and moving things between these three machines. We can automate that. Automation when this game gets good. Let's see how many? Eh, make a few. We can make quite a bit. See, they just require motors and plates, so it's just an all iron device. So let's pick this up and put it right there. An inserter there. Set it to separate. We need to fuel it up. I usually like to have, I don't know, about 10 in there. Probably for this as well. Let's make some more boxes. Right there. Fill it up with 10. Let's see. Try to put these in line so it'll make upgrading them a little easier in a bit. And we're out. That looks like we're running low on coal, so can I make another machine? Another uh, burner drill? Yep. Pretty good. Let's put it right here. Now you can technically have some of these inserters be replaced by just you know, if you put the uh, burner ore crusher right next to the miner drill, it'll put stuff directly in the crusher. But I kind of like having these boxes because it's a little bit of a buffer in case your factory isn't running properly. You can kind of have advance notice rather than all the machines just coming to a crashing halt. So let's put that uh, right there. No boxes. And fill it up with fuel. Seven pieces. There we go. That's a very basic uh, automated setup for making iron plates. Uh, the only thing we have to do is just fill this stuff up with coal as they run out. Yeah, that one's actually out, so <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have put them right there. But uh, Yeah, it's actually a little annoying. How much are transport belts? because they, they're not open by default. Eh, not too bad. Might as well start on that. Can I make the 10? Uh, oh yeah, definitely. Let's do that. Oop, that needs fuel. I'll go pick up some more. All these science packs are getting made. Boom, boom. All right, let's fill these up. Don't want to lose too much mining time, so I'm just going to move this thing now. Put it right there. I'll just put another box right there. To move things over. But not for long. Might as well uh, get rid of that. So yeah, and the other thing you'll have to do is just pick out the stone out of that box. It's a little too much work to automate that for now. Let's see if we can repeat this on the other side. Need uh, three inserters. Good. 
move that over. Let's see, drop this stuff. Might as well get some more coal while I'm waiting around. All right. Transport belts. There we go. I didn't need, yeah, I was gonna make three, but that actually made six. Oh well. I'm gonna use them. There we go. Problem solved. Don't really need that box there, that's not as important. That, uh, that bit. And actually, since we have belts, we can now kind of set up a auto fuel setup for all this burner stuff. Can't do everything, but we can definitely make it a lot easier. So I think we need four per side. I'm not going to worry. I could fill up the burner inserters, but I'd rather not. They don't really use that much fuel. It's more trouble than it's worth. So we'll put those right there. And then we need a bunch of transport belts to move the fuel between everything. There we go. Put that right there, that right there. And this works because um, birder inserters automatically fill themselves with fuel if they pick it up. So it's one of the few useful situations for a burner inserter is when it's moving fuel around, so then you don't have to bother with the micromanagement of keeping it fueled. So I'm going to pick up that and have it fill it back up, just so I have the maximum amount of coal in my inventory. Get rid of that flashing. Ha, there we go. Calm down, calm down. All right, let's do it for this side. Oops, wrong side. I like to, <laughs> a lot of players are like this. But I like to try to keep things as clean and OCD friendly as possible. Something about this game that appeals to people like that. I admit it. <laughs> some more. Now yeah, fill that up. Put the 20 in there. Put the 20 in there. Here we go. Where am I going? There we go. Let's take the extra fuel out of there and have it fill it back up. That just took a lot of the work out of it. What else? Well, we unlocked uh, burner assemblers. Make one of those so we can automate, at least the partially automate the production of stones or stone bricks. Let's see where to put it. Uh, about right there. Go, make some inserters. Make another inserter. And I can set that recipe to making stone. And there we go, boom. And I need to fill those up. That's out of coal. It's like we're running low on coal again. We're not really using that much, we're just filling up all these machines with coal, so it's taking quite a bit of production. Alright, I'll make some stone by hand. 
Good enough. Oh wow, that's almost out too. I'm gonna make two more burner uh, drills for the coal. I think that might be too much at this point, but whatever. One other uh, aspect of, I think, Bob's mods is uh, they reuse a lot of, of the earlier tech with the later tech. So I believe the electric mining drills use the burners in the recipe. So you're not really uh, wasting much by building these these early level machines. I also have the uh, a recycler mod installed, so I could have... You know, later on, research the tech and break them down for the base components, so it's not too big a deal either way. Oh! I forgot to, uh, another little trick we can do. Need another burner inserter, though. We can set these um, burner drills to be uh, auto auto feeding. Now, there's definitely a trick where you can put four burner drills in a square and have them feeding fuel into each other. Um, I would I always thought that looked weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, things that aren't really that realistic kind of turn me off a bit. I know it's just a game, but I don't know. It, it gets me. So um, I'll have to show you the uh, adjustable inserters. I believe this is Bob's mods, and some people kind of see this as cheating. Um, but the the setups get so complicated that you're going to be glad you have these. And you can also choose like exactly how much you want to adjust your inserters. Uh, the base the base game or the base tech, you know, you can only move them a little bit. But uh, how it works is you select where you want to pick up, where you want to drop, and then when you place it, when you have it set up like this, make sure you have the uh, arrow on the inserter pointed up. Like if you point it down, it's going to be the wrong direction. You see how now that it's pointed down, it's backwards. So just point it north when you drop it. So you see. The uh, burner inserter is fueling itself, and then if I took all the fuel out of the drill, now it's filling up the drill. So now I don't have to bother with the uh, the fuel in the drills anymore. And uh, they will always, every inserter you drop is going to be like this unless you close this. So I always try to disable it just so I have the uh, default operation of the uh, inserters when I'm not paying attention. So let's let all those fill up. Alright, now that's easier. Alright, fuel. How's that doing? Need some in there. 50 sounds good. 68 sounds good. And uh, this we can set up to be auto fueling as well. To the same extent as the other things. So we'll put one right there, one right there, and one more. Let's put it there. There's the fuel box. And dump fuel in there, except take a little for the inserter. Take a little for the other inserter. There we go. Now we are auto making bricks. All we have to do is occasionally fill it up with fuel and move the stone over. Alright, this seems like a good place to end it, so I will see you at the next episode.